this is Manikandan. So today video I am going to tell you about how we can intercept undead simulated traffic with Bobsuit. Previous video we have seen how we can install a Santoku operating system and um, how we can deploy new undead uh, emulated device. So if you want to know those details please go through my previous video so that you will get idea you will get an idea how we can deploy this kind of software when it comes to mobile penetration testing okay so obviously when it comes to mobile penetration testing we need to intercept we need to intercept the apk file traffic so that using burp suit we can do our assessment or we can enhance our assessment as i told you uh, for traditional mobile application and uh, network penetration testing that time we can use Kali instance for our assessment for this is complete for mobile penetration testing that's why we need to use a Santuco operating system which has uh, which has couple of tools which will help us to uh, you know do our assessment for mobile penetration testing okay so to intercept the, uh, to intercept the traffic First, we need to know what is the IP address for those device. So, my Santoko operating system IP address is 192.168.225.204. Then, my uh, you know my um, uh, Android emulated emulated device IP address is 192.168.225.167. So, I would like to add one point. Please make sure whenever you are uh, going to intercept the traffic between a Santoku and a Android emulated device that time those device comes to same network how we can achieve that concept yeah it is a concept it is a easy one please make sure you know open your Jmotion uh, the emulator software Jmotion software you will get a when you click the virtual device there is an option called edit button click the edit button and scroll down in finally you will get the option called the bridge mode so that is the bridge mode that uh, bridge mode is nothing but it will comes together as a same network okay so this, this is the way you have to achieve in the uh, oracle virtual box also uh, select any v, uh, vm that you want to uh, come to the same bridge network click that vm then there is an option called settings click the settings button then you will get the uh, option to select network yeah here you can see uh, it's a NAT you have to change bridge adapter so that uh, you know i am using wireless lan card so if you if you are using any other modem or any other network perimeters you have to select that option so that the device comes to picture same network okay yeah so please make sure that point then now i'm going to tell you how we can intercept the traffic to intercept the traffic first we need to configure proxy what is the purpose of proxy? I am telling the Android emulated device that I am going to configure proxy IP. Whatever traffic that you want to send anywhere, first that traffic should go via Santu Capital System. So what? how we can achieve that one? Click the Wi-Fi option. Click long press. Then uh, that is the option called Android Wi-Fi. Again click long press on Android Wi-Fi. You will get an option called Modify Network. Click the Modify Network option. You can see that IP address is 192.168.225.204 so my uh, santoko operating system ip address is 192.168.225.204 okay then what about the port number so port number means nothing but i am going to use burp suit so please make sure what is the port uh, that you are running in the burp suit that same port you should configure your android emulator device okay so that the traffic will intercept by burp suit okay let me click this uh, simple device yeah i configure 8090 and click save button there are multiple way we can install a burp suit certificate on your mobile device so this is the first method once you configure the uh, once you configure the um, you know proxy setting then open the browser where you have to type http colon burp click enter then you will get an option called proxy history ca certificate and plug and hack so this, when you click the ca certificate then the certificate uh, we can get it from the uh, this uh, I, I, this address uh, colon double slash burp but i don't know somehow i am facing some issue i am not able to download the certificate so i am going to do second method okay this is the common method uh, it will give us some idea to use so that's why i prefer to use this method 
what is the method i think that first we need to uh, export the certificate manually click the ca certificate and uh, uh, select a certificate in dr format select file i am going to save this file in the desktop so uh, okay let me create the new file uh, sir test dot cr sorry uh, ca certificate sorry uh, i can see the option here exit you can see uh, test dot cer file click save button test uh, we need to confirm whether uh, we have exported file or not yes i can see that we have exported the certificate called test.cr file so what i'm going to do i'm going to deploy this certificate to my android uh, emulator device how we can deploy first thing is you need to connect your android emulator device with sun to copy system so this is the command adp connect what is the ip address 192.168.225. i don't know let me check ip address once again long press again long press then click the android wi-fi you will see IP test 192.168.225.167 227 you can see already connected yeah i have connected my android emulator device with uh, sun to copper system so what i'm going to do i'm going to take the shell mode adp shell it's loading let's wait for some times here you can see previously we were we are in sun to copper system that is the directory called money uh, at the rate money virtual box which means we are in sun to copper system once we connected uh, uh, our cell i mean our android emulator device then we have to type adp shell you will get a shell mode for this device uh, your android emulator device let's wait for some time so it takes some time adp shell usually it won't take this kind of time um, yeah in the meantime, uh, let me tell you what is the purpose that we are uh, uh, that we are installing the Bobsu certificate in our uh, in our uh, Android emulator device. The reason is we are going to create a trust between your Android emulator device with Sun to Copper System Bobsu. Okay, so that you know this device will uh, assume that I am communicating with proper server. Okay. So that's why we are installing the uh, web suit certificate with mm. There is another concept SSL pinning I will tell you those concept one by one So in this uh, specifically I am preparing the video uh, uh, I am specifically creating today video to tell about how we can intercept the traffic with web suit That is a reason Wait a second so I am saying ADP ADP connect yeah, it is connected. ADP shell. Uh, let me pass this video because uh, I think it takes some time. So let me pass this video. Once it is connected, then I will resume the video. Yes, so uh, sorry guys, I took some time. So, okay, now it is connected. Now you can see when I have had the command called ADP shell, that time I got a shell which is belongs to this Android emulator device. So let me type ifconfig. You can see 192.168.225.16. This is the IP address for this Android emulator device. So what I'm going to do, my main objective is I want to deploy Bobsur certificate to uh, this Android emulator device. So uh, you have to type like uh, okay something okay whatever you want to, you can type L then you can see. Um, basically, it is a router device. Okay, I will tell you about the router device and SSL pinning concept. Those things we will discuss in, uh, in the channel later period. So it is called a router device. A router de device means you know you can get the shell which is uh, underlying operating system whatever things that you want to perform this under emulator device you can do so it, there is no restriction on this device so okay let me let me push the let okay let me again come back to the device okay now you can see i am 
I mean the send to property system one nine seven three three two two five dot two zero four. What I am going to do? I am going to deploy. So let me change the uh, directory to the desktop because I keep I kept the file in the desktop directory. You can see money dot sorry. Uh, we executed text dot cdr file. So let me adp push uh, test. Okay, this is the file where I am going to deploy. I am going to deploy. SD card, okay. Uh, SD card here. Okay, what is the SD card? It is a, it is a kind of directory which is available on the, which is available on. You can see SD card which is available on the directory of uh, mobile device, other emulator device. So I uh, SD card click enter. You can see we copied the file to SD card. Let me change the again. I am going to connect the ADP cell. ADP cell. Sorry, ADP. Yeah, I can't. Then change the directory SD card. You can see uh, ls here. You can see we copy the file test.cr file. So I'm going to open the SD again. Scroll up, click the files option. Downloads. I want to go using internal storage memory unknown. Click. You can see I, here now. I can see the certificate. This is the certificate money. Dot, uh, sorry, test.cr file. So uh, there is. I, uh, I want to install the certificate. What I'm going to do? I'm going to settings, then search certificate, install certificate. You will get an option called install certificate. Then click install certificate again. Okay, we have not installed the certificate so far, so we have to install the certificate. That is our main objective. Okay. So select settings option, then again type certificate. Uh, yeah, install certificate. Click install certificate, then go uh, uh, internal storage option. Click the certificate. My test study here you can see certificate name, whatever name you can give it, not an issue. Uh, I'm going to give a verb. Click OK. You need to set lock screen pin. Yeah, okay. Let me set the lock screen pin pattern. Click the pattern. Continue. Let me click the pattern. Continue. Click confirm. So, all notifications content. Notifications when device is locked. Yeah, I, I don't have any problem. Click continue. Yeah, you can see burp is installed. Let's see whether we are able to. Let me. Hmm, whether we are able to access the Google, okay. So, before that, let me turn off the proxy. I don't want to intercept the traffic at the moment. Let me minimize the panel, open the verb suit. What is that? Send to operating system penetration testing. If you can see. Already we you know we configure the proxy settings on the mobile device without burp suit. If you are trying to access google.com, obviously you will get a some error because we have not uh, we have not started the burp suit. Still it is running. It will take some time. So let's wait for some time. Option, please make sure uh, port number is 8090. That is the port number we have configured on our own emulator device 192.168.225.204. Click OK. Uh, in the service off, now I am going to access the google.com website. Go it's loading. Just and new okay. Let's see whether we are able to see the traffic. Yeah, you can see our traffic travels via website.com. So we are successfully tested the traffic.
because it is more, more okay yeah guys so this is the way we can intercept the traffic so in real time we are going to intercept any mobile application traffic that time but you have to configure the proxy so that whenever you are opening any uh, uh, epic file the traffic will pass via this pop so we can intercept the traffic let me tell you once again so now i am intercept i put it as intercept is on let me open the google.com again Google.com immediately I got a request Google.com. So if I send, uh, send this traffic to the Twitter where I can uh, do my assessment, obviously we'll get a 300 pound error. Yeah, I can redirect the URL. So let's keep on redirecting to somewhere. Yeah, so this is the video. I hope you understand how we can intercept the traffic. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. Bye.